professor, physician, epidemiologist. I am Dr. Sri Banerjee. So I already lectured on um, the different types of ways that you can approach a research problem and try to determine um, how to come up with that first research question. I, I came up with some broad techniques, but um, now I wanted to go into specific types of study designs and kind of go over the specific acronyms that may be um, most useful in certain situations. So for instance, if you're trying to conduct an effectiveness uh, study and your review type is in fact that of an effectiveness, then you're trying to evaluate the effectiveness um, of certain treatments and practices um, in terms of its um, outcomes. <clears throat> so the one that is uh, good to keep in mind is PICO, um, Population Intervention uh, Comparators, um, and then Outcome. Um, one good example um, of this research type is that the, like for instance, what is the effectiveness of exercise for treating depression in adults compared to no treatment or a comparison treatment. And this can go apply for not only depression, um, but you can replace that with uh, chronic diseases like um, hypertension, um, diabetes, and um, any th other sort of um, obesity, any sort of chronic disease, um, which uh, bodes well uh, with lifestyle modifications. So um, there's multiple other types. Uh, experiential um, can bode well for um, qualitative research of, of sorts. Now, traditionally, qualitative research um, is uh, found in terms of uh, phenomenological uh, studies where a phenomenon has not been characterized sufficiently. Um, so context is important. Um, the population is important, but also understanding the phenomena of interest. So for instance, what is the experience of undergoing high technology medical imaging like MRI in adult patients in high income countries? Um, the experiences might be different than low and middle income countries um, where there might not be as much availability of advanced technologies. Um, the next review type, of course, um, is economic evaluation, and so looking at cost. So PCOC um, is a really good acronym here um, because it looks at population um, intervention comparator out, um, outcomes, um, and then context. Um, and and so um, the context is uh, becoming more and more important. Um, but the um, particular approach and the costs associated with that approach, um, treatment or strategy, um, in terms of the effectiveness and the benefit. So an example, what's a good example of this? Well, what's the cost effective, uh, effectiveness of any treatment, of uh, self-monitoring of blood glucose in type 2 diabetes mellitus in high-income countries? Um, and that would be a good um, cost evaluation. Prevalence incidence, uh, this is the most common type um, in, in my opinion, um, other than other observational studies where you're looking for rich risk factors. Um, so to determine the prevalence and incidence, Cocoa Pop, um, that's a good one. Condition, context, and population. So what is the prevalence incidence of claustrophobia and claustrophobia reactions and adult patients undergoing MRI. And then some of the final ones to look at are diagnostic test accuracy, um, etiology and risk, and that's a good one. Um, pay attention to that one in particular to determine the association between particular exposures, risk factors, and outcomes. And the population exposure outcome um, is the main thing there. And um, a good research question from that is, are adults exposed to radon at risk for developing lung cancer? And that is a really important question to be asking. Um, so the other ones are, and I'm not gonna um, uh, go over them in too much detail, 
other than the fact that they exist, um, that's expert opinion policy, um, psychometric, um, prognostic, um, and then also methodological types of studies. And I've actually participated and conducted um, and presented in peer-reviewed um, journal articles, uh, methodological studies. Um, my um, strengths are in um, geospatial studies. Um, but there are quite a few studies out there um, that can look at this. Um, some of the other topics are back pain, um, muscle strength, things like that. So there's a plethora of topics, plethora of methodologies that you can approach your research problem. So from all of these, try to be thinking creatively um, of research problems that you may be familiar with and also through um, search terminology that you have uh, uniquely derived um, in order to conduct your own original research um, from what you have found um, within um, the library, but also um, from all of your experiential learning. Um, uh, I, I hope this has provided you with some um, good insights and research. Thank you for listening.